Good day from the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston as we begin NASA television coverage of the launch of the Expedition 17 crew and South Korean spaceflight participant So Yun Yi to the International Space Station. A Russian Soyuz rocket stands ready to blast off one hour from now at 6.16 a.m. Central Time, 5.16 p.m. at the barren Central Asian Space Complex at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in southern Kazakhstan, about 1,200 miles southeast of Moscow. At this hour, aboard uh, the Soyuz TMA-12, our Expedition 17 Soyuz Commander Sergei Volkov, 35-year-old Lieutenant Colonel in the Russian Air Force, Soyuz Flight Engineer Oleg Kononenko, a test engineer for RSC Energia, and 29-year-old South Korean spaceflight participant So Yun Yi, who you see in this in-cabin view aboard the Soyuz TMA-12, the youngest woman ever to fly in space, flying under a commercial agreement between the South Korean government and the Russian Federal Space Agency. All three are making their first flight into space. The uh, three crew members uh, boarded the Soyuz capsule. Earlier this morning, uh, it is a clear day down in the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Yeah, you, as you see, this view of the uh, Soyuz capsule still uh, encased in its launch uh, gantry out uh, in the uh, barren Cosmodrome. Uh, that used to serve as a missile test center for Soviet defense missiles, and uh, which 47 years ago, that same launch pad was the launch pad upon which Yuri Gagarin was launched to become the first human in space on April 12, 1961. This Soyuz capsule uh, was mated to its booster on Saturday. The Soyuz rocket, which stands 162 feet tall and weighs 680,000 pounds, was transported by a rail car to the launch pad at dawn on Sunday. You're seeing now footage uh, that was captured uh, earlier in the week, uh, first of the uh, Soyuz, uh, the final mating procedures that took place uh, to mate the Soyuz TMA-12 capsule to its booster rocket, uh, this occurring on Saturday at the Site-254 Integration and Assembly Facility at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. The uh, mating uh, operation uh, takes the better part of a full day. You see uh, technicians attaching the escape rocket uh, to the upper stage of uh, the three-stage Soyuz rocket. This escape tower uh, would be used to pull the Soyuz TMA-12 away uh, from the rest of the rocket should a problem occur during the nine-and-a-half-minute climb to orbit. As we continue to watch uh, the footage uh, that was uh, sent uh, to us uh, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan early, er, earlier in the week, uh, once again you're seeing technicians as they uh, completed the mating of the Soyuz TMA-12 to its booster rocket. Uh, this occurred on Saturday. The crew uh, has actually been aboard uh, the Soyuz TMA-12 on this launch day for them for Sergei Volkov, a second-generation cosmonaut, Oleg Kononenko, the flight engineer, Volkov and Kononenko to spend a half year in space, and for So Yun Yi, the South Korean spaceflight participant who today embarks on an 11-day mission into space, nine days aboard the International Space Station under her commercial agreement uh, with her government and uh, the Russian Federal Space Agency, uh, Roscosmos. Uh, the trio arrived at the uh, launch pad of the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan at about uh, 3.30 central time this morning, uh, not quite uh, two hours ago. Uh, they said their final farewells at the elevator and uh, took the short ride on the elevator up to the uh, crew hatch where they climbed aboard to begin final pre-launch preparations. The uh, mating procedure that you see uh, of the uh, various stages of the Soyuz booster rocket and the TMA-12 uh, takes place uh, in a very methodical fashion in the Site-254 Integration and Assembly Building down at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. 
uh, overseen by a team of uh, engineers uh, from RSC Energia, uh, which is the prime contractor for the uh, Russian uh, human spaceflight operations, and other subcontractors uh, who are uh, responsible for the various uh, building of the rocket stages, the engines, the escape tower, and all of uh, the avionics associated uh, with the reliable Soyuz rocket, which again uh, was first employed uh, almost a half century ago for the launch of Yuri Gagarin off the same launch pad upon which Volkov, Kononenko, and Soyun Yi are currently uh, housed inside uh, the Soyuz TMA-12. This video uh, that was captured uh, several months ago during uh, the training period uh, shows uh, So Yun Yi on the left and her backup, San Ko, uh, who were selected in a nationwide competition by the government of South Korea to fly on the International Space Station as uh, they took a ride in uh, their, the Russian version of the Zero-G aircraft uh, that uh, flies uh, parabolic uh, maneuvers uh, in and around the area of the uh, Chikalovsky airfield uh, near Star City, uh, just outside of Moscow at the Gagarin Cosmonaut Sir, Training uh, Center. The backup crew of Expedition once again, uh, you're looking at uh, training footage uh, that was shot of uh, the prime and backup crews uh, for Expedition 17 as uh, they completed uh, all of their training certification, uh, both at the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center and uh, ultimately down at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. You see the backup crew, Max uh, Sereyev on the in the center, Oleg Skropochka on the right. They are the backup commander and flight engineer for Expedition uh, 17 uh, to the prime crew, which is uh, Sergei Volkov that you see in the middle of your picture, and Oleg uh, Kononenko, uh, who is now on the left, as they uh, talk to uh, Vasily Sibliev, uh, General Sibliev, who uh, heads up the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center in uh, Star City. This so uh, uh, all uh, very ceremonial in nature, very traditional, as uh, the crews, uh, through their training periods at Star City, run through a series of uh, carefully choreographed uh, training procedures that leads them to their launch date today from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Volkov in the center, 35 years old, a second-generation cosmonaut, the son of uh, a legendary cosmonaut, Alexander Volkov, who flew three times uh, to the Mir space station during his career as a cosmonaut, who is now 59 years old. Volkov joined by Oleg Kononenko. Uh, who is 43 years old, uh, born in Turkmenia. Uh, Kononenko will serve with Volkov uh, on board the International Space Station for six months. You can see uh, South Korean children uh, that were brought uh, to uh, the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center as uh, part of their viewing of uh, the training of So Yun Yi and uh, of San Ko. This uh, footage uh, was shot actually at the time uh, of the crew's departure for the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan back on March 26th as they flew on a uh, Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center aircraft from the uh, Chikalovsky airfield uh, just outside of uh, Star City down to the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan as uh, the crews traditionally do about two weeks before launch for, for final uh, training and rest and relaxation. Yeah. 